Hey guys, I'm Amit Kumar and in this video we are going to talk about introduction to HTML. Now HTML or hypertext markup language is the standard markup language for creating web pages. So hypertext markup language is the language which we use to create web pages. Now an HTML documents are nothing but web pages which can be created with any text editor. So with help of this language, the document that you create is nothing but a web page and you can create this specific document in any text editor. The HTML documents are saved with an extension .htm or .html. So the file that you are going to save will have .htm or .html extension. HTML consists of a series of elements which tells the browser how to display the content. So in HTML, we use plenty of elements. Throughout this course, we are going to learn all those elements. Now these elements are actually used to tell how to show a specific text on the web page. Or in other words, you can say with help of these elements, we are going to format the text for the web pages. All HTML documents should have the following default elements. So these are the elements which should be there in all the HTML documents. Here I want to mention that all these elements are not compulsory. That means you can create an HTML document without these elements as well. But these elements are required to create a standard HTML document. The first element is exclamation doc type HTML. It defines that the document is an HTML5 document. HTML5 is nothing but a version of HTML. HTML is the root element. So all the HTML page should have this root element HTML. Now why we call it as a root, a root element? Because this is the element which contains the rest of the element in the document. Head is an element which contains inside HTML itself and it contains the meta information about the HTML page. Now meta information is something which is providing the information related to the document. When we will learn CSS and JavaScript, these informations are also provided here like which CSS file is attached to this HTML or which JavaScript file is attached to this HTML. We also provide title of the document. So throughout this course, you will learn various elements that you will provide inside this head element. Body element defines the document's body and it is container of all the visible content. So whatsoever you will provide in the HTML page, whatsoever is visible on the web page is actually contained inside this body element. Now all these elements except for the doc type the first doc type element that I told you. So all these elements except for the doc type are opened and closed. So all these elements are opened and all these elements are closed. So there are different tags used for it. And we will learn about these tags. So how to open an element or how to close an element. We will learn about that. But except for the doc type rest all the elements are opened and closed. The doc type element is only opened. It's not closed anywhere. So a default structure of an HTML page looks like this. Now you can clearly see the HTML is opened and closed here. So in while we are opening it, we are simply writing down HTML inside angular brackets. But at the time of closing, we are using a slash over there. Okay. Similarly, whenever any element, similarly, whenever any element is opened, it is opened directly by providing the element name within angular brackets. But while closing it, we provide a slash before the name. So it's head and slash head, which is opening and closing of head. It's body and slash body, which is opening and closing of the body. And all these elements are part of the HTML root element. So it's pretty much of talk. And now it's time to see the things practically. So guys, here we are on our VS code editor. So at the first time when you will open the VS code editor, you will get this get started page. You can use the open folder option over here, but let me close this. So before we proceed on the project, you need to create a folder for you. And in that folder, you can keep all your project files. Just like I have created a folder in my system. Once you created the folder, all that you need to do is go to file menu 
and click on open folder. So as you can see, I have created a folder in the D drive under proper folder under courses folder. The folder name is HTML CSS JS and inside that folder I have created crash course HTML CSS JS. Now under this folder I have created HTML crash course. So similar to that I will create a CSS crash course and a JS crash course folder and inside HTML crash course folder there will be folders for different tutorials. So it's up to you how you manage your folders and that's how you will manage your project. So handle it accordingly but the main folder is this crash course HTML CSS JS and here I will select this folder and keep everything inside it. Now let me create those two programs with the HTML file and with those programs with those files you will understand the basic file structure of an HTML file. So here in this folder I am creating a new file and I am naming it as file one dot html now as i told you we can save file with dot html or with dot htm extension now according to the dot html code structure the file should have this doc type html and then it should have the html tag now this tag will be the parent tag now as i told you except for this doc type tag each tag will have an opening and closing so here you can see this HTML is having an opening and closing. The closing tab will always have this slash. So that represents that this HTML tag is closing over here. Now inside this HTML we will have a head tag. Though we are not going to add anything in this head tag. So I am keeping it blank. And there will be a body tag. Now the head tag will contain all the meta information of the file and the body tag will contain all the content that we want to show in our HTML file. So right now I'm keeping it blank itself and I, now I'm saving the file for you. So I'm just pressing Ctrl S on Windows. So this file1.html is already saved. Now to open it, all that you need to do is to click on this go live button at the bottom. So when you will click on this go live, it will open the live server for us and it will show the file for us. So right now it is showing the file one.html as you can see, but you will not be able to find anything over here. So let me just open this uh, web page and the VS code side by side. Now whatsoever you will see I'm adding over here will appear over here as soon as I will save the file and that's the benefit of having that live server extension. So here I'm just saving hello HTML and as soon as I written that text I'm saving this file and you can find that text over here on this web page. So that's the benefit of having that live server and that's how we use the live server by clicking on that go live button. Now I'm creating one more file inside this folder but this time I will save that file with .stm extension. So I will right click on it, click on new file and I will name it as file2.htm and that's it and nothing else. Now what I will save in this file, all that I have saved in the previous file itself. So I'm just copying and pasting it over here, saving it. And now I can just come to my server and remove this file1.html from my address bar. So I click and click on this introduction to HTML folder. And now you can see those file1.html and file2.htm both are part of my introduction to HTML folder. Now I can click on the file whose output I want to see. So if I click on this file1.html, I will see this output. I can go back and click on this file2.htm and I will find the same output as both the files are having the same content. Now let me change this one. So let me save it as hello HTML. How are you? Let me save this file2.htm and you can see on file2 you will get hello HTML. How are you? And if you will go to file1.html you will get only hello HTML. So that's the basic structure of an HTML file. It starts with exclamation doc type HTML. The parent tag will be HTML itself. It, the parent tag will contain two tags, head tag and body tag. 
Now whatsoever you will keep in the body tag will show as the content of the document. Now that marks the end of this video. See you soon in the next video. Till then thank you and take care.